guys! Today is a very exciting video because I'm going to be sharing with you my holy grail foundation for people with yellow, olive, and Asian skin tones. This is a foundation I had mentioned in my January favorites video that you guys went nuts over asking for a video, a review, and I was going to do it after that, but the product has sold out twice, so I wanted to do this video on the product once you guys could get it if you wanted to try it. I didn't really think it was fair for me to do this video on it and then no one could buy it. Now everything's back in stock so you guys can try it out if you're interested. A lot of you probably know the foundation I'm going to be talking about, and it's the EX1 Invisiware Foundation. I've been using this since last year. I absolutely adore it. I haven't done a video dedicated to a foundation in a long time, probably since last summer, so this is a really big deal for me. This is not only my favorite foundation for yellow, olive skin tones, but also just in general. This is the second bottle that I've gone through of this shade. I will show you swatches later in the video of all of the colors and the MAC equivalents. I know I always get questions asking me, well, what shade are you in MAC? I'm this shade of MAC. What can I be? So hopefully that'll help you guys out for those of you who are going to try this foundation. I know a lot of you guys have tweeted me, sent me pictures on Instagram saying that you will love this foundation so I'm so happy so I'm gonna start with a little review on the product and then I will show you a demo of me putting it on as well so here's the packaging of the foundation it comes in this really sleek little bottle it's really light with this bronzy orange metal around it and then this part is clear you get 30 mils which is a little bit over one fluid ounce and as you pump the foundation you can see it starts to go up right here like I said this is the second bottle of f200 is this shade F200 in MAC is about an NC30, NC35, but I'm not wearing this shade right now because I have self-tan. I'm actually wearing F300, and in MAC, this is an NC37 to an NC40, and this is the one that I use during the summertime. So here are all the shades that come in the line. They come with five different shades, and I also am going to list their MAC equivalents just in case you're unfamiliar with what shade you would be. So this foundation that claims to blur any imperfections and even out your skin tone while looking natural on the skin. A lot of foundations I feel like claim to do a million things and then they only do one or two, but I feel like this foundation does everything it claims plus some. This is the only foundation that I've ever tried in my life that can blur out your imperfections, cover everything you need covering, but it still looks like your skin. I feel like when I go up to heavier coverage foundations, they start to look a little bit cakey or I have to put concealer on top of a medium coverage just to cover up any acne or any redness. This does everything. It's a medium but buildable coverage foundation and it feels so light and effortless on the face. When you put this on, it's a really creamy, lightweight texture, and when you first pump it out, you think it's going to be a little bit thick, but then it just melts into the skin. It blends so easily, which is another big thing I look for in foundations, is how well is it going to blend. One of the most important things in a foundation to me is how well it blends and how well it wears. Since this blends so perfectly, you'll see in the demo my face is a lot lighter than the rest of my body. Because I self-tanned, it's a lot lighter than my body, so I need something that's gonna look like my skin that's gonna wear and even when I don't self tan my face pigment is always a little bit lighter than the rest of my body so I always need something that's gonna look like my skin not look fake and not like cakey and also something that's not gonna break me out this has never broken me out it doesn't clog your pores it's safe for any skin type and it's also oil free I love oil free foundations my skin type is combination oily my t-zone it gets so oily during the summer this is a foundation I can wear all year round because since it's oil free, it doesn't make me more oily. But even when I wore this during the winter, it was very soothing to my skin. This is just honestly the perfect foundation. For those of you who have yellow, olive, or Asian skin tones, you know what I'm talking about when I say it can be extremely hard to find a good color match. Myself included, as I tan, the olive really comes out in my skin. And even when I'm my like fair, normal shade, I still have that olive in my skin. And if I use a foundation that has too much pink, it just doesn't look right and it just looks like something is off. And I have tried so many foundations out there, drugstore high end. When it comes to drugstore foundations, you don't always have a whole lot of options with colors. And I feel like as the colors get darker, they get a little bit more orange, not necessarily yellow or olive. And then for high end foundations, I feel like they always have a lot of pink in it. And if I use something that has too much pink, it's just doesn't look right on my skin. 
And even though I found some foundations that I love for my skin tone, they're still not 100% perfect. So that's when I completely freaked out when I started trying this foundation just because the match was spot on with my body and I was like, this is what I've been missing out on. I love this foundation for every day because it's so lightweight and you don't feel it sitting on the skin. Usually I will use my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. This is my holy grail foundation brush. I'll link it down below if you guys don't have it in your life. And then also I love 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 this foundation with a beauty blender because with a brush I mean it's undetectable on the face you can't see the foundation sitting on the skin and then when you use a beauty blender it kind of shears it out just a little bit and it gives you a little bit of that glow when you put this foundation on the skin it's going to give you that natural radiance but it's not dewy and it's not matte it's that perfect natural finish if I had to compare this to another foundation I would say makeup forever HD this is what makeup forever HD foundation is missing in their formula. If they had whatever is in this in all of their colors, that would be the perfect line for every skin tone because like I said, a lot of these have more yellow and these are targeted towards olive and yellow skin tones. However, for those of you who are more fair or for those of you who have a lot of red in your skin, you will love this foundation because anything with yellow is going to counteract red. So if you have a lot of redness or you feel like you need to kind of neutralize and balance it out, this foundation would be perfect for you, whether you want to wear it on its own or mix a pump of this with your normal foundation. It's just going to kind of neutralize that red in your skin. So you can get this at lookfantastic.com. That's where mine came from. I will link them down below. They do have free shipping, which I'm always a big person when it comes to free shipping. I'm like, okay, I need this in my life. And they do ship internationally. This is a little over 10 pounds or about 17 US dollars, which this is a high quality foundation formula. $17 I feel like is a steal. Some drugstore foundations I've seen now are like $12, which I think is overpriced for a drugstore. I know when I go get my L'Oreal True Match now it's like $8 and up. So for a little bit more you can get a high-end quality foundation. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm sorry it took so long for me to get it up. I know I've been getting a lot of emails and tweets and questions about this video and about the foundation. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the product, make sure to leave it in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer it. As well as what kind of video do you guys want to see next? Thank you as always for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!